Hello and welcome to the Weekly Wind Spirit card pull where I pull a card from and I give you an interpretation from the Winds of Spirit which is a Hay House uh, award-winning book and the card that I pulled for today was Why Were Mama? And this is the, uh, the Peruvian wind about being in right relationship and it's about giving and receiving and I've, I've gotten this wind before and what we generally do in this is we, you know, we call to the wind and bring the wind in. I thought I would do it just a little bit different today. And I wanted to talk to you about in the, the, the Quechua tradition, they do prayers. They, they kiss the wind and they do it with these uh, cocoa leaves, which these are grapefruit leaves from my tree out front. But what they are about is that, that the, that the one leaf, the lower leaf, is about the lower world, and then the middle world, and the kaipacha, the, the upper world. And they, they combine together for the prayer, and then they're offered up with a wind blessing. So what they do is they, they line them up, and being that they want to be in right relationship with the spirits, they make sure that the, the stems are all lined up nicely, and they pick the best leaves from the pile, and so they are stacked like this. And then what you do, and you can do this at home, is that you, you put these, and then you have a, a gratitude prayer, an offering, a uh, thank you. Thank you, Blessed Mother. Thank you to the wind. Thank you to Waira Mama for, for whatever it is that you're needing and calling into your life. And so this wind is about being in right relationship. So that what you're giving energy to can then turn around and, and give you back energy. And that means being in right relationship with your day and your time and your space. This like, I've been really busy, a lot of traveling. This week I have an alumni weekend at the recovery center where I work. Then I travel again. And I'm also in the process of writing a, a, a beautiful new course for later this fall. And the the equinox is coming up, so there's a lot going on. So how do I stay in balance? How do I keep in my right relationship? And for me, that is really, I've been out and about, so now I'm like in. I, I take that time to be in. And in that reflection of that inness, I get to see like, okay, what needs tending to? Does my house need cleaning or, you know, laundry or Right now, I'm really feeling like, boy, it'd be really fun to go out and treat myself to a meal out that I don't feel like cooking tonight. And so it's being in right relationship with my own rhythm, my own groove. And so that could be something totally different for you. By the way, that's one of my paintings over there. And so what we do is we're going to make this kintu. And then we're going to blow in that we have right relationship, that we have balance this week. We're going to thank the winds in advance for bringing us balance. And as we send this off with our breath, with our wind, it is taken to spirit. I also do that with my wind whistle. So I'm going to actually call to Waira Mama to come in here this week for the collective and be here with us as we work to find out what is in balance, what is in harmony. And I also would like to mention that on next Monday, the 23rd, I'm conducting a fall equinox wind whistling ceremony. And know what is so interesting, I find that, speaking of right relationship and balance, so in the Western world, we like to, the solstice, thousands of people sign up. The uh, summer, sol summer solstice, again, it's always a huge amount of people. And then we get to the equinoxes and, and we don't necessarily call them in as, uh, as as important as those other bigger, the day and the night. So these are the, these are the places where we start to shift those energies and, and move us back towards that darkness or move us back towards that light. And these energies to me are equally as important when you want to align to your awakening compass and be more aligned to how you're really living your life based in the cycles of nature as opposed to what I call a timeline commodity. If you want to learn more about this, go over to thepracticalshaman.com and sign up for the free fall equinox gathering. And really, it's called the separating the wheat from the chafe. So 
you know, what is, what are those nutrients and what is it that you could mulch back into the earth so that next year you take the strong energy seeds forward into your life. And again, that's about being in right relationship. There isn't just the day and the night, but there's these two other, uh, Latin, you know, two other coordinates that are quite as important as well, which are the spring and the fall equinox. So join me for the fall equinox and let's see if we can get you in balance. Okay, are you ready? So let's call to Waira Mama first by grounding ourselves into the earth. And this is a wind whistle that's being especially made for this work. So if this is the first time you're hearing it. The next time, let's call to Waira Mama that that wind of right relationship, that wind of give and take, that wind of today for me, tomorrow for you. And then let's create an energy bubble around us so that not only are we giving out, but other people are feeling that call and they're giving back to us and the cycle is continuing. And again, my name is Renee Barabo. This is the Weekly Wind Spirit card pull. I do this weekly. And you can learn more about my work at thepracticalshaman.com, sign up for the free fall equinox gathering over there. And also, you know, pay attention this week and please comment, what are you giving out? Where is it coming back? Because it doesn't always, it doesn't always come back from where you gave it, but it's always good to pay attention to that there is an ebb and flow. All right, hope you're having an awesome day out there and please like this, share this, Let's spread the love.